everyone. Welcome to Nancy's Mediterranean Kitchen. Thanksgiving is just around the corner. So I thought of making some short episodes about Thanksgiving meal. I'm going to show you today how to make a turkey the Egyptian way. So let's start. This year, we are going to try something new. We are going to cook it outside on a turkey fryer. And so here is the basket. And inside the basket, we are going to put a beer can. This is good for 14 pounds turkey. And that's exactly what I have. I have a 14 pound turkey. The turkey will go on top of the beer can. My ingredients are, I have a big onion chopped. I have third cup of melted butter. I have salt and pepper. I have five branches of rosemary. I have half the onion that we will use for the can. I have one cup of orange juice. This is freshly squeezed orange juice. I clean the turkey the same way I clean the chicken. If you want to watch my episode of the chicken to see how I cleaned it, you can look at the link above. And I'm just going to put everything together, all the marination together. I will mix everything together and then I will put it inside the turkey. So I will start with the onions here. I'm going to add the rosemary. You hold it this way. You push down. So turkey is widely spread in Egypt. We eat it for Christmas, sometimes for Easter. We don't celebrate Thanksgiving in Egypt, but of course, I celebrate it here with my family and friends. So it's nice to try something new, try the Mediterranean way. The Egyptian way is my favorite. The rosemary gives a very nice flavor to the turkey and also the orange juice. The orange juice gives like not a sweet taste, but it absorbs any fishy taste. And now I will add the salt and pepper. I added like two teaspoons of salt and two teaspoons of pepper and mix them together. I'm going to add the orange juice. I am going to add half of the quantity of butter for the marination. And I will leave just a little bit like one tablespoon for brushing the top. I will start by brushing the turkey from outside. So you have butter inside and outside. Now I'm going to put everything inside the cavity and under the skin. I will open now, like try with my uh, thumb to push the skin to separate it from the meat so that I have space for my onions and all the marination. Then I will add a little bit outside. And then I will leave it with everything on it, with all the marination for at least one hour in the refrigerator. And then I will show you the next step. So this is after two hours. I left it in the refrigerator for two hours. Now it's ready to be placed in the turkey fryer. I want to also let you know that you can definitely use a roasting pan. That's what I used to do for a long time, and it was very, very successful, especially with the convection oven. If you have a convection oven setting, use that. It makes it juicy and amazing and fried from all over. So now I have the, the beer can. As you see, I emptied half of it. I'm going to put this half onion on top. You see, this part is very important. So you can just push the onion down. I emptied the cavity a little bit from the onion because everything will fall, but I'm sure it absorbed everything. I put a plate underneath to collect all the falling liquids. Now it's ready and I will show you outside how we will put it in the turkey fryer. Okay, so we have put the turkey in the turkey fryer. We're gonna start it covered for about uh, 15 minutes to help it get you know, warmed up. Uh, then we're going to 
uncover it. The manufacturer says um, about 10 minutes for every pound. That comes out roughly out to two hours of, of a roasting time. And yeah, we'll use a thermometer to, uh, just to make sure that it's right. The target temperature is 165 in the breast, 175 in the thigh. So we'll be back in two hours. We just took the turkey out of the fryer. By the way, this is an oilless fryer. We didn't put a lot of oil like any other fryer with the tons of oil. This is called the oilless fryer, and we are going to put the link below for it if you want to find out about it. And it looks amazing, as you see. The color looks amazing from all sides. We are letting it cool a little bit, and then we'll transfer it into this nice dish. It took exactly two hours and uh, 10 minutes. So it has to be on 165 degrees, and that's what we um, targeted. And so I will show it to you once it cooled down, and I will put it in the nice dish. My turkey is now ready to be served. As you see, I have it here in a nice dish with slices of oranges and apples for decoration. It looks very nice and moist, and it's full of juices from the beer. And as you see, the fryer did a great job. And you can also find videos on how to carve it. Our trick is to use an electric knife. We can also put this in a link below, and you can take a look at it. I hope you liked my episode today. I hope you can give it a try, and let me know in the comments below how it goes. And happy Thanksgiving!